About five years ago, it was one of those chilly mornings of October. I was driving north on Highway 44 going to Islaq and then all the way to Grand Prairie, staying there for the night and coming back the next day doing delivery job. It was almost six in the morning. A semi truck smashed a smaller truck. It happened in front of my eyes. I stopped. I was confused. Okay, I will call 911, but I'm not going out of my truck. I called 911 and I gave them the location. The lady on the other end started asking me questions and I found myself in front of the driver describing to her the scene. Yes, I can see him. He's lying on the ground. He's badly injured. Please hurry. He's 22 to 24 years old Caucasian guy with the diamond earrings. He's shaking. Please send somebody, hurry. They are on their way. I took off my jacket, covered him. Oh my God, he's still shaking. I took off my sweater, put it underneath the slim bleeding body. I could tell he was dying. I look up to the sky. Please God, please. Just give him a couple minutes. They will be here soon. A wildlife officer came down off his truck, rushed toward us. Hold on, buddy. They will be here soon, he said in a loud voice, and then looked at me and whispered with a desperate tone. They need 20 minutes. We don't have those 20 minutes. Hold on, buddy. At the moment I looked around, there was his wallet and phone and some cash spread on the grass. I saw his driving license. Matthew. His name was Matthew. I looked at him. He looked at me. This was the moment that stick in my mind till now and forever. As if I know him and he knows me and he was trying to say something but he couldn't. It was the end for him. I felt his soul depart his body. Many drivers and passengers stopped by the accident. Some of them, they took out their phones and start taping and photographing the accident. Some of them, they just photographed the trucks. And some of them approached the body and filmed the scene. At that moment, I start crying. And I remember myself saying, don't you have a heart? Stop it. Am I the only one with a heart here? He's a human being. He has a family and friends. Stop it for God's sake. Think of them before you post anything. I left that place. Couldn't stop crying. I stopped by the first gas station on my way. I told them the story behind why I was half naked and they gave me a jacket to stay warm. I still have this jacket and I will keep it forever. I'm sending them Christmas cards every year. Matthew's face lives with me since then. I see him every morning. And every time I see a car accident or hear about one on the radio. Every time I drive by the cemetery. Every Halloween. And every foggy, chilly morning. When I order a coffee or anything, and they ask me what is your name, to call me back when it's ready, I say Matthew. I wanted to know more about him, so I searched his name on the social media. And I found him. I saw his pictures with his family and friends, but I regret that. I don't know why. I felt that I was spying on him. I wouldn't feel that if he was alive, maybe. But I didn't do that again, maybe to forget him. But I couldn't forget him. There's nothing social in social media but his name. Being social is not by posting. It is about understanding the meaning of being a human. And if you have a message that you need to deliver, don't write it and post it on Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Let me see it in your acts and behaviors while you are living your everyday life in the real world, not in the worldwide web.